What's up, what's up, what's up, Divine Masculine? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. Yes, indeed, I am back at it again with the remix. <laughs> you know I'm playing? <laughs> yes, it is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I'm here to let you know what the daily bread is, what your daily nourishment is for Thursday, April the 25th, and Friday the 26th. Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for all the love, light, and support that you guys have been sending me my way. Trust and believe me, I feel it. I feel it indeed. Um, if you guys want to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, what you need to do is skip on over to that About tab on my YouTube page, all right? First, you need to book, and then you need to contact, okay? Book, and then contact. So what you need to do to book is click that hyperlink on that About tab that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Once you book your reading, you need to contact me on either Instagram, which the link is directly under the booking link on the About tab, or if you don't have Instagram and you prefer to use Google Hangouts, you can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com, and you can contact me through Google Hangouts, and we can connect through the video chat. I only do video chats. However, if you do not want... Sorry, you guys. Hold on. My bad. Um, I only do video chats, but if you do not feel comfortable with getting on camera, there is um, an additional $10 fee, which you will see the $10 add-on for a direct YouTube private upload. So if you do not feel comfortable with getting on camera, that's cool. However, please keep in mind that you will not be able to interact with me the same way that you can if we're live on camera. Okay, so just keep that in mind. If this video resonates and if you want to give a love donation, my PayPal is in the description as well as the About tab. So let's get into the reading all right thank you guys so much for all of the love and light thank you thank you thank you so much indeed father god thank you for bringing us all here today please give us guidance for the divine masculine for april the 25th and the 26th thursday and friday of this week thank you so much for helping us move ahead thank you so much for us just waking up and trying to find joy and reach for the prosperity that's in our heart father god thank you so much for our progression we are just growing slowly every day you know there's no rush in this however you know there is a certain certain sense of urgency you know because certain things have just been going on for far too long and it's overdue time for change and you know in certain things we can take our time and develop these skills and you know this new way of being but in certain things we need to have a little bit more rapid pace with that development and change because it's long overdue so father god please help us be able to prioritize um you know what's urgent and what's not urgent in regards to these transitions and changes in our life and thank you so much for this awareness and us finding out how to be grounded and centered and you know this new foundation that we're setting for ourselves thank you so much father god again for all of the blessings that you've given that you've given the divine masculine please give us guidance for april the 25th and the 26th thursday and friday of this week and thank you again for all of the blessings in the past present and future let's get into it all right so let's see what we got for the divine masculine for the 25th and the 26th of april i wonder what will happen next all right ready to adventure a pause before absence What does it say? All the golden afternoon. Inspiration, creative spark, imagination, conception. All right. What else do we have for the divine masculine? Four. 25th and the 26th. Thank you so much. Nine of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. 
Huh. You wonder what would happen next. Standing your ground on something. Taking a pause before action. Ready to go on a new adventure. Give us guidance. We find how to balance the heart. Want the divine masculine. On April 25th and 26th. Sadness and isolation. Okay. But you're reaching higher though. Nurture. And you're nurturing yourself. You're nurturing your heart. It's one thing if that sadness and isolation was like in the reverse because that that means like instead of you elevating, you know, and truly recreating yourself and, you know, using your energy in a positive way, you know, that means you would be like the hermit, hermit, soul searching, yeah, the king of wands, being a visionary, a leader. Come on now, Divine Masculine. Come on now. Come on now. Mr. I'm wondering what's happening next. You know, standing your ground, being guarded against shit that you ain't trying to allow in your life no more. Being imaginative, being creative. Going on this soul searching journey. You know? Yeah, you're fighting through this isolation and this sadness, but you are recognizing your feelings. You are doing a deep reflection on how you got this way how you feel why you're feeling the way that you're feeling and like you're just really ready to move forward you're really ready to move forward and to do whatever it is that you need to do you know even if it is isolation what is this mushrooms dreaming and a swan loyalty come on now come on now oh yes divine masculine you are most definitely changing you are most definitely changing. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Mm. Wow, Divine Masculine. Wow. Wow. I'm really loving this energy, you guys. Like, you guys are, like, really growing. Growing. Clairvoyance. I am helping your spiritual sight awaken fully so that you can see heavenly love, Okay teaching and learning keeping an open mind and learn new ideas then teach this to others so see divine masculine is going through his own soul journey he is going through his transition and him recognizing his divine powers within himself recognizing that he truly is a divine masculine and learning how to tapping the spirit himself you know what i'm saying like he is growing in ways that is so beautiful oh my I only i can only hope that my divine masculine is truly growing in this way i truly do i truly do and loyalty come on i will only hope i will only hope you know and even if he not for me at least he knows how to grow up and step into the divine masculine energy and be that for the next person. You know what I'm saying? The hermit again. All right. The hermit clarified by the hermit. Why y'all, all y'all stuff be always clarified double time. They go to nine of um, wands in reverse too. Got the nine of wands up there then you got it down there. Let's see what's going on in love for the Divine Masculine. I feel like the Divine Masculine is truly, truly just like kind of isolating himself and staying to himself right now. Forgiveness. What was this other thing that kept trying to fall? Fresh start. Forgiveness and a fresh start. I feel like Divine Masculine wants forgiveness not only... He's trying to find forgiveness within himself, you know, and that's why he's dreaming and he's soul searching and he's recognizing that spirit is trying to talk to him and understanding, you know, this new sight and this new blessing and this gift that he, you know, I feel like divine masculine is starting to see things before it happens and using his intuition and his gift of sight now. 
He's using his gift of sight now. To, to, yeah. Oh, he wants the reunion. He wants to celebrate. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh. Oh, Divine Masculine. Is that how you're feeling, baby? Oh. Touch me nicely. Look. Touch me nicely. Touch me tenderly. Do me like you always do. Ooh. <laughs> Like divine masculine trying to get himself better to come back to his boo. He want his motherfucking boo, y'all. Mm -mm. Reunited and it feels so good. All right, so listen. The center energy is here. Is I wonder what will happen next. Ready to adventure. Uh, a pre precipitation of change. Pause before action. And I know that ain't what that fuck that says, but I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't give a fuck. God damn it. <laughs> what will happen next? Let's see what that says. Wonder what would happen next. All right. So this says, Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank of having nothing to do. Once or twice she peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it ain't had no pictures in it or conversation in it. And what is it in the use of this book, Alice thought, without pictures or conversation? There are points in life where everything seems quite perfect. Things are calm, all is well, and we are comfortable, sheltered, easy in ourselves and in our relationships that we have, all right? There is, in short, nothing at all wrong. Then why, oh why, can we not feel satisfied? This is because free spirits grow restless amidst too much sameness. Okay? We as much as Alice. We find you here, dear reader. And at this time, while she ought to be enjoying the afternoon beneath the tree in the late summer, Alice is actually... Getting a little fretful and restless. She wants for adventure. To explore. To reach beyond the comforts of her current existence. This is the very point that you are at. You will decide whether or not to enter into and enjoy all that you have been given. Or go into something new. There is nothing at all wrong with embracing that. Or, as you will know from Alice, this could be the point in which you begin to wonder whether this is a place from where you need to explore, stretch, or jump. A small part of you is tired with the tidy, comfortable, and repetitive. You rather have the adventure where you will learn more from who you truly are than you will in this in-between state of sameness and people who never ask questions or content and never go but beyond the comforts of your current life you did dear reader want more this card tells you that very soon if you choose you will have an unprecedented opportunity for adventure it is your decision but i think you know what you will choose when the moment of change arrives just in time to save you from the numbness of too much habit and repetitiveness this is the very edge of change, so prepare yourself. A longing for excitement. Wonder at what is meant to take place next. Someone who is comfortable but very vaguely um, dissatisfied. Be ready for a challenge and for new experiences. Okay? So this basically means here that the Divine Masculine is fucking bored. Okay? They are fucking bored. Um, I feel like Right now, they're very guarded. Um, they might have. I mean, they and clearly they're they're in a place of isolation and sadness and of soul searching and dreaming. So this is basically telling you that the divine masculine is single right now and he's alone and he's isolated and he is very guarded because right now he's reaching higher. I feel like he is. Like we said, hermit stage, he is soul searching, so he might be a little bit cold 
and a little frigid to people and he might be spending a lot of time by himself just reflecting this is someone that is just really thinking about a lot of things that just transpired thinking about a lot of things that transpired okay so you know nine take away three that's six so this is him going through a place of caring of self-love recognizing op you know uh uh obligations um looking at certain relationships you see what i'm saying looking at certain relationships that have been formed and certain obligations that have been spawned uh, uh formed certain responsibilities that have been um spawned throughout these relationships here you see what i'm saying and right now um i feel like he's isolating himself he is in a place of sadness for whatever reason due to these relationships and whatever obligations um, that he's having to be responsible for right now. Um, he's he's trying to love himself through this situation, even though he's in a place of sadness. He's doing a lot of soul searching and this is about a lot of self-love right now. So he is guarding himself because... He's thinking about these relationships and how they are uh, affecting the harmony in his life. And clearly, you know, some of these relationships are bringing him some sadness where he feels like he needs to do some soul searching. Okay. And, um, yeah, he's thinking about these things. He's really thinking about these things. And he's wondering what will happen next. He's, he's like, he's tired of... The monotony of his everyday life right now. He's ready for something new. For some new adventure to begin. I feel like this Divine Masculine. Um, kind of has that. He might to me. I feel like this man. Might, I mean, even though we're seeing. Yeah. Might be a Sagittarius. A Leo or Aries. You know. Um, that kind of King of. Not King of Wands. But uh, like a. A, a prince, a prince of wands, or a, a page of wands, or a knight of wands type of energy. Like they like to start things really fast, but as soon as the fire kind of dims out, like they kind of get bored if something just becomes like mechanical, you know. And they want to go on to something next. And I feel like that's what happened here. But for some reason, a relationship, because like I said, nine take away the three that equals six. Six is what they're recognizing love and relationships and obligations and responsibilities and having to be caring, you know, what type of harmony, what type of peace, you know, that they want in their life. And right now it's a lot of sadness right now surrounding a relationship and divine masculine is dreaming. Okay. They're dreaming. And I want to say, you know, you see the mushrooms there. I don't feel like the Divine Masculine is taking no damn mushrooms. However, I feel like they might be medicating a little bit. You know, might be smoking a little bit of tree. Having a little cocktail. Just kind of just sitting back. Dreaming. Looking at the stars. Or like wherever the hell they at. You know, looking at the woods. I don't know where the hell they at. Looking at mushrooms. I don't know. Maybe they just tripping on some mushrooms. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. I do feel like. With this car here, I feel like the, the, the Divine Masculine has just been really soul searching. And, and like I said, has been in his thoughts, sad and isolated. And I feel like they've been smoking a little bit of tree, drinking a little something that has them a little bit medicated. And really just going deep within their thoughts, doing the soul search and trying to pull themselves up out of the sadness. Do you see what I'm saying? They're really trying to pull themselves out of this. And they've been dreaming, dreaming about what their future is going to be. I wonder what will happen next. They've been dreaming. I wonder what will happen next. They're ready to take on this new adventure because they're bored and they're tired. You know what I'm saying? They're tired. Clairvoyancy. I am helping you with your spiritual sight to awaken fully so that you can clearly see heavenly love. And then this is being confirmed again by the hermit. And as you can see, this is the divine masculine realizing that now he can see these stars. He can see these elements and these things so much so that he can almost reach out and touch it and grab it himself and put it in his pocket. And things are becoming so much clearer to the divine masculine that he too, unlike, you know, his 
you know, people that he's been dating in the past and the people that he's been surrounding himself around. He's unlike these people. He has a divine purpose. He's been going through these things for a divine reason. It is for growth. It is for illumination. It's for elevation. And that is why the divine masculine has been spending a lot of time to himself so that he can pull himself, number one, so he can pull himself out of this sadness. He can pull himself out of this sadness and start dreaming again. Start dreaming about a new future. Start dreaming about a new future. You know, I feel like the Divine Masculine is protecting himself from the things that were bringing him unhappiness. And it might be several different things that he is protecting himself from. I feel like some of them are gossip. Okay? Feeling like... uh. People coming to him with unnecessary drama, people being in his business, family, uh, work, work related drama. Uh, it could be um, even own self esteem type of things that they're being, they're guarding themselves from, from their own thinking and their own words that they speak to themselves. Just like they're guarding themselves from so many different things that was bringing them unhappiness. And like I said, they're trying to elevate their self out of this sadness and this isolation. And they realize they have to, they have to do this alone. It's not something that jumping into another relationship, jumping into another situation. No, they have to be by themselves because otherwise they're not going to be able to see what they need to see. Okay. They're growing. They're healing. It's something deep inside of the divine masculine has to see and has to heal from their self. That's why they're in this hermit mode. They have to forgive their self. It's something that they have to, you know, forgive their self for, you know. And I want to say looking at how this man is like on his knees, like almost worshiping the female, this female. Um, I want to say that they realize with this, um page of swords um maybe them just always looking you know because you know the page of swords this is someone who's who's investigating who's searching for truth searching for clarity so i feel like the divine masculine has been searching for truth and searching for clarity and trying to find forgiveness within himself in regards why he's always searching for something else you see what i'm saying like why is he always so mesmerized and fascinated out of the way i'm looking at this is like Someone doing research, like you're always searching for something new, for someone with better curves, with something with a better body, something you always like searching for different females. You understand? Like, I honestly feel like that's what it is because he's like so mesmerized by this woman's physique and by her body. And I, like, it's almost like he can't control himself, but to. You know, be enamored by that, you know, and like, I feel like, yeah, you, you, you trying to forgive yourself for why you can't stop looking. Do you feel me? And that's, and, and this is like a soul journey. This is something that the divine masculine is really going deep within trying to figure out the answers why he's so, you know, why he can't stop, why he can't control his desires almost like that's truly what i'm getting here and i want to like go deeper and this is just out here so like real quick just because this is out and i should have never reached my hand over there because i know i was going to end up doing something more than what i was planning on doing shit let's find out what the divine masculine has to say what is the Divine Masculine has to say in this energy right now? Please give me guidance in regards to the thoughts of the Divine Masculine. How is the Divine Masculine feeling right now in this current stage? Please give me guidance in regards to what the Divine Masculine is thinking and feeling. Thank you so much. I don't think I can take your reaction right now. All right. So the Divine Masculine, like I said, they still got a lot of work to do. And they're still in a low point and they're trying to build themselves up. I don't think the Divine Masculine is ready to talk to you right now because I feel like they're trying to forgive their self before. They're, you know what I'm saying? They have to forgive their self. I see a little part of you and everyone I meet. 
Mm. I just got caught up in the moment. Okay. I just got caught up in the moment. So the Divine Masculine wants, is there any other messages? I thought about reaching out to you, but I've stopped myself. Yeah, this is why, because he, he has to finish doing his work. He has to finish doing his work. All right, so thank you so much, Divine Masculine, for that message. Thank you so much for that message. Let's figure out what's going on deep in the shadow with the Divine Masculine for tomorrow. You know, because he's wondering what will happen next. And he knows that he's just not, he's not ready. He's not ready. And he still has to work a lot. He has to work a lot. He's searching for answers for why he, he does certain things. I don't think I can take your reaction right now. I see a little part of you and everyone I meet. I just got caught up in the moment. I thought about reaching out to you, but I've stopped myself. All right. Those are messages from the divine masculine. So please give me insight in regards to what's going on with the divine masculine in the shadows. All right. Guy, distant, uncomfortable. Pain, shocking, cowardly, and emptiness. All right, so this is what's going on in the shadows with the divine masculine. So right now, right now, I feel like the divine masculine felt like they were lost and they didn't have a guide to show them truly how to be a man, how to treat a woman. They really didn't. I feel like they might have been raised by. Uh, the people in their neighborhood just by music or whatever. I don't feel like they really had a real man to show them how to treat a woman and how to really truly be a king. You see what I'm saying? They really didn't have the God that they need. Um, I feel like in their past that people were really distant with him. And, you know, that's why... I feel like there was a lot of distance and there wasn't a lot of affection in his upbringing, you know, and I feel like anytime someone tries to show them too much love and affection, it makes them uncomfortable and they do things to reject it. You see what I'm saying? They do things to reject it because I feel like they, they don't know how to receive love. They don't know how to receive love. It makes them uncomfortable. I feel like it has something to do with their past. There's a lot of pain that they need to work through and reject. That stems from something that is far behind. You know what I'm saying? They need to get over certain pains. They need to get over that hurdle. Whatever this pain is that is that is that they're dealing with. That is making them uncomfortable. They have to deal with this. They have to deal with this. They have to get over this. And I feel like that's what they're doing. That's why they're going through this deep soul searching like this. Because the divine masculine is alone. So for a lot of the women that are watching. Um, a lot of their divine masculines might have recently became single. Okay. Don't let it be a shock to you. Okay, because I think we all know that the divine masculine was eventually was going to release itself from whatever situation that he was in. But he's doing it because he has to focus with this pain. And I don't think that he's shocked. You know, he's not shocked. And he realizes that he has to get over being cowardly. And he's not shocked that he has to face this pain and stop being a coward and address this thing. He's not shocked by this. He knows that this is something that he has to do and a hurdle that he has to come over to get over this emptiness. Because it's a, he has to, it is something that he has to do inside. Because there's an emptiness inside that's made it where so he had this inability to love and to truly accept love when he would receive love it would make him run it would make him be a you know coward you know what i'm saying and he will go and self-sabotage these things because it will make him uncomfortable because only thing he knows is being around people who show him dead emotion and that are distant to him he doesn't know how to accept that type of love he doesn't understand that type of exchange do you feel me okay so this says all the golden afternoon 
inspiration creative spark imagination conception that was in the reverse what is this the queen of pentacles in reverse nurture all right the king of wands okay now you didn't stepped up you're not that page of wands no more that in and out your fire is blazing now okay your fire is blazing. You are so passionate and determined. And you are putting everything in you into this change right now. And you are nurturing yourself, Divine Masculine. And your passions is burning right now. You are really on some boss king shit. I feel like you guys have been working out. Y'all been eating right. Y'all been getting y'all body together. I'm damn. I feel ooh. Oh my goodness. I just got a vision of oh, somebody's chest. Oh. Uh, uh. Bitch, I feel like somebody is getting it together. They are getting it together. They are getting themselves together. This queen of pentacles in reverse. I feel like right now, whoever it is in their environment or whoever it is that they're desiring or maybe someone that they're currently dealing with right now is someone that... Is trying to focus on getting their coin together. That is focused on getting their home environment together. Someone that is focusing on establishing long money. You know, solid investments. And right now, their situation isn't necessarily where they want it to be. You know, and this person is working on, you know, getting everything solid. Okay? So, I feel like the person that they're desiring is... Someone who might not have their shit together and is working on getting things solid. And then there might also possibly be someone in their environment that they feel like um, doesn't know how to nurture a home environment. You know, um, isn't necessarily a good homekeeper, isn't the best cook, isn't the best cleaner, um... Isn't necessarily someone that would be an ideal mother for their kids or something like that. You know, and they're trying to nurture. So we have one group of people of men that there's someone that they desire that they just see is trying to get back on their feet. They're trying to get their environment back stable because they might have fallen short a little bit and they're working you know, they're working towards something, you know, and this person might be more mature than them. Um, I don't want to necessarily say older like this. I just see that this man, this, this woman is very mature and he knows that she's going to get herself together. And then there's a group of men, like I said, that they feel like a woman in their environment is too fucking old to not have her shit together. It's too fucking old not to know how to keep a house clean, not to know how to cook, not to know how to take care of a home, you know? And so, either or, the man is nurturing their self. They're nurturing their self. And they're fighting through. And they're really stepping up, bossing up, being on some king shit. They're bossing up, being on some king shit. And like I said, this man is 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 alone and he's sad because he's alone and he's guarding himself from somebody so either he's guarding himself right now while he gets himself together because he know that this woman is getting herself together and that's why he's trying to nurture himself and get these passions burning and focus on being more loyal he's really his passion his passion is like truly him nurturing this loyalty because as you can see up here He's trying to forgive himself for constantly looking at other people, for constantly desiring other people. You know, he wants his passions. He's nurturing his passion being desired only and burning for one person, being loyal, being loyal, being loyal. Because this was a teaching and learning lesson for him to teach him how to be loyal and to recognize a swan. OK, so I feel like it was someone that the divine masculine had in their energy that they were dealing with. Listen, this, this, this queen of pinnacles in reverse, this woman that was a little bit more mature than him, a little bit more advanced than him, but she just fell on hard times. And he wasn't able to recognize that she was a swan. You know, he looked at her like, oh, she's an ugly duckling because in this current state, maybe she might not have her things together, but she knows she has the ability to build herself up and to get herself back on her feet. Okay, that ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. 
And now your chest burns and your back aches from 15 years of holding the pain. And now you only have yourself to blame if you continue to live this way. Get it together, you gotta heal your body Get it together, you gotta heal your heart What's the weather, the soul you will reach Get it together, you can fly, fly all right, a little India Ivory for you. Sorry for my little screechy voice, but I just had to sing that out. Dark future ahead of me, that's what they say. I'd be dead if I believed all the lies that they say. Cause I've been redeemed, okay? From your anguish and pain, a spiritual child, I'm floating on a cloud. Cause the words that come from your mouth, you're the first to hear. Speak words of love. And I, girl, I don't even know the damn words. Whatever, child. But I'm trying to tell you, get it together. You got to heal your body. You got to heal your heart. That's what the Divine Masculine is doing. They getting it together. They focusing on their loyalty. They healing their heart. They focusing on it. They recognizing that ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. It just took loyalty. It took loyalty. Even if this girl don't have it all together right now. Got it all figured out. God knows that ugly duckling grew up to be a swan. And this is what this was about for the Divine Masculine, knowing how to recognize true beauty in the midst of darkness. In the midst of darkness. You know, just because people go through tough times don't mean to not be loyal and to get up and leave. Just because someone falls on hard times don't mean to get up and need don't mean to get up and leave. That means to nurture. Nurture. The situation. Get that fire and that passion burning to make change. Be a king. Be a king. Be loyal. Be dedicated. Okay? That was the teaching and learning lesson. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach those ideas to others. Okay? This is about you learning how to be a true king and to stand up in your shit in the face. Times when times get hard, you can't just get up and run. You know what I'm saying? You can't just get up and run, you know. Now you've learned to put your guard down. You put your guard down and understand what you need to do to grow and to create a fresh start. You know, you've learned to put your guard down and everyone ain't trying to attack you. Everybody ain't trying to throw you off your guard. I feel like the Divine Masculine has a sense of not wanting to be vulnerable i feel like if if, if they let they they feel like the bi masculine felt like when people try to love them they're trying to break this barrier like they're a beast trying to come in and just take everything that they got and just leave them just destroyed and mangled like you know left yesterday's pot roast or some shit like that like leftovers or something ain't nobody trying to do this to you and you gotta stop looking at love like that you gotta stop looking at affection like that you gotta stop looking at people trying to care for you like this you know what i'm saying where it makes you so uncomfortable where you feel like someone is trying to attack you like a beast you gotta put your guard down if you want to create a fresh start. You got to put your guard down. And you got to learn from this. You got to learn from this barrier that you're getting over. You understand? You have to learn how to get over this barrier. We're not telling you to not, you know, uh, stand your ground. Continue to stand your ground against the beast that you need to stand your ground against. The people that you need to protect yourself against protect yourself but the people that are trying to just love you and just trying to help you aid you and trying to show you a new way to grow a new way to be you don't have to you don't you you can let these people in you can let these people in it may fill you from this emptiness it may fill you up from being this uncomfortable you know you can take that you can put that shield down 
All right. There's a there's somebody that you want to reconnect with. There's someone that you feel very passionate with. And it might be this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So it could possibly be a Taurus, a Virgo, or an Aquarius. Is, it, is that a Aquarius? No, a, 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 a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. Sorry. She may even be an Aquarius. You know, the star. Because like I said, this hermit here, he's reaching for his star. He's reaching for his star. He's reaching for his star. He's getting himself together. He's retreated. He's healing. He is nurturing himself because he wants to be able to reach for his star. Because like he said, he thought about reaching out to you, but he stopped himself because he was feeling cowardly right now. You know what I'm saying? He was feeling cowardly. He needs to get over this feeling. You know, he needs to fill himself up so he won't feel so empty anymore. So that he won't feel any empty no more. Is there anything that the Divine Masculine has to say in this energy right here? In this energy, there's someone that he feels very passionately. I'm trying to do honorable things. This, this, um, fell. I'm trying to do honorable things. Because he wants, it's someone, I feel like it's someone that the Divine Masculine wants to connect with. I swear, if you could just get his hands on her. He would just kiss her all over his body. He would show her. It would, I mean, it's number three. Number three means communication, creativity, imagination, energetic communication. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is self-expression. This person would show you so much how they desire you, how much they miss you, how much they wanted to reconnect you, how much they thought about you. Do you understand? They can't wait to see you. Like this person, this divine masculine cannot wait to see and connect with this person again. And just to talk about old memories and just to like laugh and to just like, oh my God, like I feel like they desire your body. Like they just can't like I'm getting so much like I'm just getting so much of the desire of, you know what I'm saying? Like. I'm getting so much of this desire. So much of this desire. All the golden afternoon. Let me read this. I didn't even read that. Hold on. Before I'm um, jump, 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 jump on a dick. Jump, 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 jump on a dick. Hold on. Jump, 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 jump on a dick. All right. So that's what that means. That is, wait, that's not what that means. What this means in the reverse. It means an attachment to habit. Locked into a saltifying sameness. Convert, comfort over adventure. Oh, comfort over adventure. A lack of curiosity, satisfaction, remaining within the same world in a repetitive cycle. So up here, you're wondering what will happen next. And you're guarding yourself because you want to you want to get over the sameness and you want to venture. But then down here, it's like. Again, attachment to habit, locked into a saltifying sameness, comfort over adventure, a lack of curiosity, satisfaction, remaining within the same world in a repetitive cycle. So it's like you want some bipolar ass shit. Like this, this, this can, okay, yeah. This some old bipolar ass shit. Sometimes I feel like a nut, sometimes I don't. Oh man, Joy's got nuts, mouths don't. One minute you 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 with it, and one minute you want to stay locked into the same old repetitive bullshit. You need to like literally work this out. You gotta you gotta fight through this because one minute you in, one minute you out, and it's like I feel like that's that coward car up here. I feel like you're trying to get over this. You you trying to get over this. And I feel like maybe even a divine masculine, they're being triggered to like maybe this thing right here, this thing right here, this looking, this, this, this being in. I feel like they're trying to knock this out because they're by their self and they're trying to forgive their self for keep searching for something new instead of being satisfied with what's within and they're trying to do the honorable thing right now and just be by themselves. That's honestly what I'm getting. That's that's what I'm getting. They're trying to just be by themselves and try to be patient and get their self together and not 
be so quick to be out in the community because I'm seeing the number threes. I'm seeing is three, 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 threes. I'm seeing a lot of threes. You see? So, and what is it saying? I know I made a huge mistake. I'm trying to do the honorable thing. I know I made a huge mistake. Was there anything else I thought of? No. Please give me any other thoughts in the mind of the divine masculine at this time. Would you give me the chance to make things right between us? Wow. Mm. That's some deep shit. That's some deep shit. All right. So let's see why the divine masculine keeps going back and forth. What's going on in the shadow since we're doing shadow work for him? Okay. What's going on with the divine masculine? Why he keep going back and forth, spirit? Why does he keep going back and forth? He's trying to, he's secretive. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I feel like, I feel like he's, he fights deep within. It's like. I feel like this, this, this urge to be secretive is something that he battles because I feel like it's an, he, he battles this. He battles this. It's very forceful on him and it's almost like a ruthless and an addiction and he feels like he don't have no, it, it's, I, I feel like, and then I could read this another way as well, but I'm not because this is what I honestly feel. I feel like. For a long, a long time, like, Divine Masculine just really didn't have any faith. And he was just rueful and forceful about his secretiveness behavior. I don't feel like he was just, he didn't have no faith in relationship. He didn't have faith in commitment or anything like that. And he was just rueful about his shit, you know. And I just feel like his secretive behavior was just kind of forced on people and maybe it was forced on him like maybe this was something that he learned to be this this rueful secretive way like like this i feel like this has been embedded in him for a long time and it's a forceful habit of his that he is fighting to change like it's like he's trying to it, it, he has to force his will over this you know what i'm saying because it's like a a, a a a thing that he has deep within him that is just I feel like I need I need some clarification on this. I need some serious clarification on this here. Mm-mm. What is going on? Forceful Rufus. Secretive. And I also feel like there is somebody in their element that they're dealing with. Because they know that they made a huge mistake. And they're trying to do an honorable thing right now. They know they made a huge mistake. And they want to know if they can make things right between us. Okay? And they, and they keep getting stuck in this thing of feeling like they're getting stuck in the mundane. So like I said, there could be a queen of pentacles in their energy. Someone that they feel like they got to take care of and nurture. And be the king of wands and be faithful in this situation. He's trying to forgive and learn. And he's trying to let his guard down and create a new fresh start. Excuse me, you guys. Someone's knocking on my door. So let's clarify this because I did not expect to go this deep into this shit. It's just this reading was just so deep, y'all. I'm sorry. Please clarify secretive, forceful, ruthless, and faithless. They're building their faith up, though. They're built because this is faithless in the upright. This is in the reverse. They're building their faith. They're getting it together. 
They're believing that they can change. That's why they're not turning themselves. And that king of wands, learning how to be loyal. Please clarify. The knight of cups. They want to offer a, their cup to someone that it was a foundation that ended. It was a foundation that ended where there was a lot of storms in this relationship. Mm -hmm. There was an end to the divorce or ending to a relationship. This is someone who was offering their cup to the Divine Masculine. And I feel like the Divine Masculine hesitated on, you know, accepting that cup from this person in the past. Um... And I feel like now this person wants to be the fool. Yeah, this person wants to be the fool and, ex and, and extend their cup to this woman when she extended a cup to him at first. But he feels like you see this dog is trying to bite this person and they're trying to reach out and pet them. I feel like the Divine Masculine is trying to figure out another plan. He's trying to find another plan because... Yeah, he's trying to, the pinnacles, he's trying to figure out a plan because he wants this person to work on things with him. He wants this person to work on things with him. And he just doesn't want his plan to be rejected. He realizes that he got to go back to, he realizes that he got to work on things a little bit more. Yeah, the ace of two, at the ace of swords, he has to come to this person with truth and clarity. He has to come to this person with truth and clarity. Mm-hmm. So I feel like this is something that the divine, I want to say that the divine masculine is probably fighting to try to be um, celibate right now. <laughs> and I want to say it's like a forceful, ruthless urge in him to still be secretive and, and, and you know what I'm saying, to still carry on in this way that he was where he just ain't had no faith in relationships and no faith in commitment and stuff like that. And it's this rueful forceful urge in him. It's like you see like a, the wolf the wolf the wolf the howling in him. It's like it's like dragging him right now. And I feel like right now he's trying to stay isolated. He's trying to work through his sadness and stuff like that. And I feel like he don't really want to be like this anymore. And that's why they're, they're saying it. He's saying he's trying to do the honorable thing. He's trying to be the king of wands right now. He's trying to do the right thing. Because he didn't have faith before. And now he does. He has faith. And he's looking for a new growth. He's looking for a new growth. But then there there's also someone that I feel like they're dealing with someone... It's like one minute they want to isolate themselves and to be single. Or they are isolated and they are single. But they keep going back and forth. Should they just settle and just go back to this Queen of Pentacles and nurture and be the king? And try to be loyal in this situation and just y'all try to forgive and learn. He need to let his guard down and let this shit grow. Even though that he feels like. It was a huge mistake. He got to do the honorable thing. And he wants to come back to this person to find out if they can make things right between them. But he knows that there's some secrets there. And there's some forceful and ruthless behavior that is in this situation. But he's trying to, have, like, come on, like, because come on now. As the divine masculine is going back to a contemplating just accepting and just dealing and instead of changing things in his life he's just accepting and dealing with someone that is forceful and ruthless and secretive with him and he didn't have any faith in the situation he's trying to find faith in the situation you know i'm really hoping that that's not it i'm really hoping that it's not it but like i said this is being clarified by the knight of cups he finally wants to accept the cup from someone who was offering their cup to him Okay, he wants to offer that cup now. He know that he made a mistake by ending this relationship, by doing whatever the fuck he did, by hesitating, by stumbling, by stalling when this woman was offering him this cup. This person was playing around. This person was over here with it. You see what I'm saying? Looking at other bitches. And now this person is trying to forgive their self right now and trying to overcome this feeling of emptiness inside. 
all right and overcoming this moment of cowardliness trying to figure out how to talk to this person because they thought about reaching out to you but they stopped it so you feel me so he wants to reach out and extend the cup to her now even though things have ended all right he wants to just be governed by his faith he knows that if he reaches out to this person that this bitch is going to reach back like a dog and try to bite his ass because of what's happened but his faith is like truly leading him towards this direction and i feel like the divine masculine like i don't give a fuck i already know this bitch is going to try to bite me that's why i'm about to go back to the drum board and just devise up a new plan like i said i already know my first offer is going to be rejected so i gotta go to the plan I got to go to the planning board and I need to go to the planning board. And when I come back, I need to come back being able to offer some truth so I can be like Arthur and pull this goddamn sword out this stone and I can put my crown back on. That's some real ass shit. That's some real ass shit. That is very deep, you guys. That is very deep. Let me just, I'm sorry, you guys, because I'm, listen, because I just, listen, we got to nurture and help the divine masculine. If I feel like I need to give extra time to the divine feminine, I will give time to the divine feminine. If I need to give extra time to the divine masculine and do extra sprays for them, I do I feel like I'm got it to do. And I feel like we really need to pay more respect to our divine masculines because they need help just as much as we needed ladies we need to love on them and and this is not about us trying to pry you know because i know a lot of cross a lot of ladies watch this cross watch and trying to figure out what's going on with the divine masculine y'all need to pray for him whoever your divine masculine is you need to pray for him you need to help him spiritually if you do care anything about him for him to be able to overcome these difficulties and to really be able to mature and step up in his, you know, divine masculine energy, you know, truly feathers, protection, divine masculine, you will protect it. I know you're going through the sadness. I know you're going through this moment of isolation. God is protecting you. If you see a lot of floating feathers going around, that is God sending you a message, letting you know that he is there and that you are protected, my dear. What is this? Incent visions smoke like i said didn't i told y'all y'all was sitting back smoking <laughs> y'all been smoking and just chilling looking at the stars in the and it's starting to get warm outside so a lot of y'all starting to sit outside again y'all are sitting back smoking and a lot of things are coming into vision like i feel like you guys are like manifesting by vision divine masculine snakes forbidden all right there's something forbidden in your energy. You're visiting the forbidden. You're, for, you're visioning the forbidden. Red. Red. Somebody that reminds you of the color red. Someone that is passionate. That has a lot of anger. There's courage there, but then there's also strength. Someone that's, you know, a little pleasure in playing. You know what I'm saying? And you can't see the strength because it's in the white. But strength is right down there. Passion, anger, courage, and strength. So right now you're seeing red, okay? Like I said, you're in that, you know, king of wands energy. So you're being very passionate. And I feel like your anger is feeling your strength and your courage, you know? Your anger about this situation. You feel like this situation is forbidden, you know? Grapes, satisfaction, but you will have the satisfaction, okay? Like I said, you guys have been smoking and you guys have been drinking. Y'all been visioning shit, okay? Y'all been smoking, y'all been drinking, y'all been envisioning shit. Spiritual awakening, you guys have been going through your spiritual awakening. You guys have been seeing um, repetitive numbers. Y'all might have been seeing 1111 a lot. That is also... Feathers are letting you know that you are protected if you see floating feathers and if you've been seeing repeating numbers of 1111. You've been going through your spiritual awakening. That's what this whole thing is about. You are on the right path, Divine Masculine. So if you've been seeing 1111 a lot, that's the confirmation that you've taken off like a rocket. Your voyage has taken off and you are on. You are, and, and it's just like, you feel like almost that this thing 
is is forbidden. You know what I'm saying? But you know that you're protected and you've been having visions and you know that even though this is the forbidden, you know, this thing is like almost taboo, this relationship or whatever this is that you desire, you know, you for something something in you, you're seeing red. You're seeing passion and your anger is getting you the courage to have the strength, you know, to taste those grapes to get the satisfaction in this situation. You feel like you're on the right path with this and you're going to take off like a rocket. Like as soon as you get your shit together, as soon as you get your shit together because you've seen it. You've seen it and it don't matter regardless of what other people tell you. You know that you are protected and you know that you're good. All right? Hourglass. You know time is time is slipping. Time is slipping. And it's your green. Prosperity, health, and abundance. Okay? So right now you're seeing red and green. Okay? Red and green. All right? Diamond. You're going after your diamond to make that promise. All right? And then right under that was pink. Love, caring, and compassion. Under that, coins, support. All right? Mourn. All right? Somebody that you were mourning. Cupid. That was your true desire. That was your true desire. All right? So, you guys, I hope that this... That is my cue to stop. That is my cue to stop. It looks like I went on far too long. But there's a love. There's a love that you've been mourning. All right? Right now, you're focusing on your support. Being able to support that love right now. All right? This is a loving, caring, and compassionate person. All right? This person might wear pink a lot. You think that this person is a diamond. You think that this person is a diamond and you want to make a solid promise to your diamond, okay? You know that time is slipping, all right? You want to offer this person prosperity, health, and abundance. Good health, prosperity, and abundance. You want to take off like a rocket towards this person. You feel like you've been going through your spiritual awakening and you're on the right path. You will taste the satisfaction in this situation, okay? You will taste the satisfaction. You are passionate and you're angered by this situation that you cannot, like, you know, have this, you know? Your anger is building up the courage and the strength for you to move forward, okay? But people tell you that, no, 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 this is forbidden, this is taboo, that this person is a snake. And you say, shit, I don't smoke me a fucking J on this shit, I don't have visions. My Lord told me that I'm protected and I'm going to be okay. I'm about to do what the fuck I want to do. I don't give a fuck about what y'all talking about. Okay? So, this is your reading. I love you so much, Divine Masculine. I love you so much. Okay? Change your focus. It's time to get your heart balanced and change your focus. Okay? Number five. It's time to face whatever challenges that you wanted to. Because this came out in the reverse. Alright? Saying that you... Are not changing your focus. In order to get your heart balanced. You have to look at things. In an appropriate way. And you got to adapt. And you got to change your focus. Okay. You have to change your focus. It's time to travel forward. Okay. The number five means change. Challenges. Freedom. Travel. Adaptability. Being daring. And quick witted. Okay. Alright. Because remember. You got to come with truth. You got to come with truth. Alright. I love you. Peace.